Hey there everyone, I am Rukti Midda. So today I want to share one automation script with all of you. And what this script gonna do is, it will provision Kubernetes multi-node setup on AWS cloud. And I am using Ansible to automate everything. So this is my AWS console. Let me first show you a few things on EC2. If you see the running instances, so it's zero means there is no running instance. And second thing on security group, if I go here, security groups. So here I have three security groups, but here you will see one security group will be dynamically created. And on key pairs, I have this key, Ansible key. So this key I will use. So these are the three things I want to show here. And next thing, if I go to my Visual Studio code, you can see this is my workspace. So let me quickly run Ansible version. So you will see it's picking the local configuration file. So it will pick this local configuration file from here. So that means whatever I'm running on this workspace, so it will pick those things from here. Let me show you one more small thing, then I will start the whole process. If I list the hosts, then you will notice it's totally, let me show you just quickly, it's blank. I'm very much excited and let's see how it's performing. So Ansible playbook setup.yml and as uh, ask vault pass. So this is I'm um, uh, passing because uh, I created one vault file to store my AWS access key and secret key here in this file. So let me quickly run this. I need to provide my vault password and then you will see first thing it's checking installing Boto and Boto3 on local system. It's checking if Boto and Boto3 is there on my local system or not. Then it's creating security group for k cluster. It's creating one security group and it's running the EC2. Here you can see running EC2 role. So it's changed something that means I'm hoping there some security group will be created lastly we are seeing three but let's see so if i repress here you will see one new security group created now it's four so this security group allow all xg this security group just created by ansible next if i go to the instances it's currently zero running instances but you see it's initializing that means ansible dynamically provisioned one instance and give the tag master next if i go here you will see master instance provisioned similarly it will launch two more instances here all right as you can see here it launched one instance and give it the tag slave one and then it will launch one more instance slave two and then it created dynamic host group so these are dynamic inventories it created here then it's waiting for the ssh to come up and once SSH came up then it's running EC2 underscore master so it's running EC2 underscore on EC2 underscore master inventory it's running KHS master role so first what it's doing it's installing docker oh sorry the first it created the repository on master node then it's installing docker and cube ADM on master node so if we want to set up kubernetes multi node cluster then on master node we need docker and kubeadm software to be installed so if i go quickly here now if i refresh you will see there it created three instances slave one slave two and master and on master instance it's doing all the jobs so let's see now if you see it's pulling the images of kts master that means now script is pulling all the docker images that is required on the master node to run the kubernetes cluster so also uh, uh, there you can see starting and enabling docker and kubelet on master node 
so it did one more thing it enabled the kubelet and docker services and started them then it's updating docker c group on masternode because we need to change the docker c group to system d then it restart docker on masternode because there is some change on configuration of docker that's why we need to restart then it's initializing kts cluster now it's starting the kubernetes cluster so in the meantime uh, let me go to the master node and let me connect from my browser i want to show you few things so let me log in with sudo su that is if i run yam list docker then you will see docker is already installed packages docker docker is already installed here and if i run cube adm then you will see it automatically installed cube adm as well now if i go here it's it actually completed now it's running slave role so if i quickly show you that part setting up cube ctl on master node so after it initialized the kubernetes cluster it set up the cube ctl then deployed the flannel and then it also created the token for slave node because token is needed and that token we are dynamically passing to the next role so that this role can use that token to join the master node cube ctl get nodes you will see currently there is one node and it's ready spaces you will see all the ports are running and currently we have only one flannel port so now if i go here you will see all right so this was quick so now what happened on slave role here you can see it's running slave role so on slave role again it installed the docker and kubelet command uh, kubeadm command and then started the docker kubelet service then update the c group then it update some ip tables for networking then reload cctl because we changes some on ip tables something then joining the master node so here it that command here we created token that we by pass on this role and this role use that command to join the master node now if i show you here dynamically if you see kubectl get nodes you will see now there are three nodes previously there was one node but now here you have three nodes and all the nodes are ready and one more thing if i show you here you can see flannel is in one node and now if i show you the same command you will see there are three flannel ports running that means in all the nodes it created the kubernetes multi node setup so this was the practical actually and i have also written one blog on this practical if if i want to so you just quickly so let me just so this this is the blog i just created few minutes ago if you see 11 11 minute or just now so i created just now this blog so if you want to know how this actually this whole setup working then you can refer to this blog and for the coding part i uploaded my code on github so you can just quickly go to the github on this link and you will find all the codes here you will see roles ansible.cfg setup.ml just uh, one thing two things i here i haven't uploaded that is my pem file dot pem file ansible dot pem file and create dot yml because these things you need to create dynamically so that's all thank you everyone for watching this video